Okay, so where should I start with my hair? First of all, I'm gonna tell you about my hair texture. My hair is very awkward. I have very thick hair. I know it doesn't look that thick now, but that is because I have thinned it out to no end. I literally picked up this half of hair and I just got my scissors and took chunks out. If you are a hairdresser, please don't yell at me in the comments. I already know it was a huge mistake because now the chunks that I chopped out, they're very short, so they poke through the rest of my hair and they look like I've got a little mullet, so. That was a mistake. I'm never going to do that again. I'm too scared to go to my hairdresser because she's going to yell at me. Anyway, don't do that at home, guys. I'm never going to do it again. But, like I was saying, my hair is very thick. So when I find something that works on my hair, I stick with it. I do not change. So that is the texture of my hair out of the way. The color of my hair, you guys wanted to know. So this color here, these roots, this is my natural color. This color, it looks darker on camera than what it actually is. This is a 6 or 7 on the hair color chart. If I'm correct, if you're a hairdresser, let me know in the comments down below what colour you think I am. When I used to work in Sally's Salon Services in Edinburgh a couple of years ago, they sell all different hair products to all their hairdressers, so they had one of those shade chart books, and I got one of the hairdressers to match my hair up, and she said I was a, I can't remember if it was a six or a seven, but it was the darkest blonde that you can get before your hair is brown. So this is not brown, believe it or not. I know it looks brown. Technically, it is a very, very, very dark, dirty blonde. In my dark, dirty blonde, I get a full head of blonde highlights. So that is all this is. My natural colour, with blonde highlights. When I go to the hairdresser, I ask for thick, chunky, textured, silver blonde highlights. I don't like any of that brassy, yellow, gingery blonde highlights. It just doesn't suit me whatsoever. If you like that, you do you. <laughs> I like the real silver blonde. So that is literally all I ask for. It is the most simple hair color ever. Once I get my highlights in place, I need to take care of my blonde. Like I said, my hair is awkward, so if I do not treat my hair properly, it goes brassy pretty much within a week. Every single time I wash my hair, I always, without fail, use a purple shampoo and purple conditioner. The ones I love I get from Amazon and that is these here. They featured in my favorites video for last month. These are the Nascent, I don't think that's the way you're meant to pronounce it, the Nascent Shampoo and Treatment, Shampoo Treatment, otherwise known as Conditioner, and they are dark, dark purple. So the purple counteracts the brassiness, like the yellowness, so it turns the brassy yellow ginger blonde into a silvery white light blonde. So that's the kind of color it is there. So it's really dark purple. So I use a shampoo first. I put that all over my hair, use it to clean my hair as you do. Then I follow it up with my treatment. So this is the conditioner and this one is purple as well. So I put this everywhere because I don't want my hair to get damaged. Then I leave that one in. So I tie my hair up with that in it and then I go about cleaning the shower or I say a prayer or I just do something to pass the time while that's in my hair. I usually leave it in for about... Oh, three to five minutes, then I wash it out. So I don't use any toners whatsoever. I only use my purple shampoo and conditioner. Like I said, these guys are from Amazon. They are absolutely brilliant. You can get them in pretty much any country you're in, I think. I will put their details in the description box down below because if you have blonde hair and it tends to go brassy, you need this. <laughs> from the same brand, I then get out of the shower and pop this in my hair. This is the uh, Nanatsu nascent argan oil. This is what I use in my hair before I curl my hair or straighten my hair or do any kind of styling, but I also put it in my hair as soon as I get out of the shower. So I put that from about the ears down, I kind of, you know, blend it all through, then I either blow dry my hair or I let my hair dry naturally. As for my hair cut, I've actually just recently cut it myself. You guys might know I cut my hair short, it's tied up at the moment, but my hair is about up to my collarbones now and I just hacked away at it myself as I tend to do. But before I cut my hair short, I had very long hair. And all I did then was go to my hairdresser and I asked her for long, choppy, kind of scruffy layers. I don't like really neat hair. I like hair that's kind of tussled because it gives you more volume. So that is pretty much what I ask for. So I think that's all there is to do with my hair. Oh, I should show you this as well. This is what I use to style my hair now that it is short. Because now that I cut my hair short, it kind of just hangs limply, like really straight and just not very flattering. So what I do, I grab this. This is my Bellamy 6-in-1 hair curler. It's got six different barrels, but I like to use the thickest barrel. Every morning, I just grab chunks of hair. I kind of whip them around, hold it for a few seconds, let them go. It gives you a really beautiful kind of tussled, scruffy, wavy hair look, which I really like. So very good if you have hard to curl hair or mid-length to short hair. I have a discount code for this. I will put that in the description box down below in case you want one of these for yourself. So to recap, I do not dye my hair. This hair is not dyed whatsoever, but it is bleached. So I've got the silver blonde highlights bleached into my hair and maintain them with purple shampoo and conditioner to keep it that silvery white blonde. I do not use any toners or hair dyes or anything like that. All I use is my purple shampoo and conditioner. That takes care of it all. I follow that up with argan oil. I put that through the lengths and ends of my hair because otherwise my hair gets really damaged and very frizzy. And then I curl it with my Bellamy curler and that is literally 
all I do with my hair. Every single thing that I use will be in the description box for you down below, including all the makeup that is on my face at the moment, so have a look down there if you want to. If you have any questions regarding my hair at all, just leave it in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, come and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, say hello to me over there and I'll say hello to you. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!